everyone welcome back to another video um so if you're a returning subscriber hello how are you i hope you're well I hope everything's going great if not don't give up because giving up is one of our greatness our greatest weaknesses and if you're not new hello my name is tamisha daniels um yeah welcome to my channel so today's video i'm going to be trying out the new wide cell bare skin tinted moisturizer so I feel like a lot of brands are coming out with makeup that have skincare ingredients so I think it's called skincare makeup hybrid products which is good because I know a lot of people are scared to wear makeup because they feel like makeup can be very irritating damaging and harmful to their skin but I mean for those of you who are you know worried try trying a product that has skincare ingredients so with YSL this has got hyaluronic acid which is really good for moisturizing and hydrating your skin and it also got glycerin and glycerin is good for maintaining moisture levels throughout the day so you continue to stay moisturized moisturized i feel like it offers 24 hour high um hydration and marshmallow it also has marshmallow ext extracts and that's for radiance and enhancing the skin so if you want to look radiant if you want to look like you drink five liters of water every day if you want to look like you're in your fruit and veg game this is for you so it's light to medium coverage retails for um 27 pounds i got mine on sale from look fantastic for 22.95 pounds um i'm in the shade what shade did i get this in guys i'm not gonna lie to you when it comes to shade i just guess if it's light for me i make it work if it's dark for me i make it work in life i just try and make things work for me oh so what is the shade on the shade on this? Oh, so I've got the shade NU16. And we'll see how that goes. What else do I need to tell you guys? So um the actual ingredients they get, I think it's got mar marshmallow extracts, which they get it from their community gardens, the YSL community gardens, tinted moisturizer. It gives you dewy, radiant, fresh, healthy finish. So let's try that today and see how it goes. If my face looks a bit dry, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm an oily babe and some people don't think primer is necessary, but for me it's necessary because usually when I wear makeup, I'm wearing it for a long time. I'm wearing makeup for 10, 16 hours. And actually today, after I do my makeup, I'm actually going somewhere. I'm gonna be running errands and I've got a lot of things to do and I want my makeup to last. So yeah, so I'm wearing my Becca Primer because I do need to last. And I know I look matte right now, but trust me, give me like, I wanna say maybe four hours and I'll be looking very, like my oils will push through and it make me look a bit more radiant and dewy but i just need primer to make sure that my makeup lasts all day and does work for me to moisturize i've used my olivera gel um if i want to um the reason why i use this because it it moisturizes my skin leaves it smooth and soft but it doesn't leave a greasy finish do you get what i mean so it moisturizes but without that greasy oily sort of like finish which i like so yeah so this also helps in keeping my makeup lost all day so with that being said let's get into applying the thing let's see if i've made a good if i've found the right shade match we'll see if i do because I, I rarely ever do yeah but we'll see if we do and yeah i'm gonna apply it using my real techniques expert face brush and then i'll go in with my beauty blender my real techniques um sponge to take off the excess and even it all out I used my um, Becca Matte Poreless Primer. This primer is so good for the heat. Like it controls excess oil, reduces shine, and it gives that lovely instant skin tightening effect and mattifying effect. It offers a smooth matte surface throughout the day. And by the way, it's, it is made without any dehydrating alcohol. So it will not affect with the moisture balance of your skin barrier so guys i'm now going in to apply my tinted moisturizer in the shade nu16 i'm using my real techniques face expert brush and just to give a more flawless look i'll go with my real techniques and um, beauty sponge guys i do recommend using a tinted moisturizer it just provides a more natural fresh fr fresh face look than full coverage foundations and i feel like it's ideal for hot humid days where thicker makeup bases might feel too heavy and clog your pores after all no one wants to sweat streaks of makeup off So 
so guys this is it this is with two pumps um guys when i tell you that this when they say it's bare skin tint this is just the bare skin tint tint if you're looking for something that's very breathable very lightweight on the skin doesn't feel like you've got anything give this a shout it is not full coverage i don't even think it's medium coverage i think this is light um a few of my sort of like acne scarring um pigmentation is coming through but i don't know if you guys can see i've got still a few of my some some of my foundations that would cover this is very um it's, it's still coming through but i like it it's not as dewy as it should be because i'm wearing the becca mattify becca primer but i can see the healthy shine coming through my forehead and yeah i like it guys it's very light it doesn't feel like i'm wearing anything so light on my skin i like it probably shouldn't touch my hands my hands are clean by the way no one come for me but yeah it's nice and cute i'm gonna go on and apply some the rest of my face you look and watch that sit back and relax relax but yeah i like it So yeah guys, I forgot to mention that um, the um, formula for the, um, well YSL claimed that their bare skin tinted moisturiser, 90% of the formula is skincare based, which is really, really good. Is that gives you that your skin but better vibe, that barely dare look, but I am dead. You get what I mean? So yeah, it comes in 20 shades. And yeah, that's it, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I like it. I just waited for it to settle and it's just, it's just nice. I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my face. I just feel like bare, but done up. I feel like if I had lashes and lip gloss, this would be a vibe. But yeah, sorry about that. I'm gonna carry on with the rest of the look. Hope you enjoy. See you on the other side by the grace of God. So, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee to conceal my imperfections and my acne scarring. Then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define to conceal my under eyes. I'm using the shade 10.9. This is really good at counteracting my dark circles. It is, afford it is a an affordable long wearing formula which gives a nice soft matte finish. Then to highlight I'll be using my e.l.f. Brightening Concealer. This also gives a lightweight formula and also has skin loving ingredients such as hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Vitamin C is really good for rejuvenating the under eye and hyaluronic acid as we all know is really good at you know maintaining your moisture balance throughout the day. So it's very lightweight and what I normally like to do is just to let my concealer sit for a bit and then blend it out to make sure it lasts, lasts all day and prevent it from creasing during the day. So guys, I'm now going to be using my e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation to set my face. I love this um, found, um, powder foundation. It is primer infused. It's a pressed powder that just delivers buildable coverage and an airbrush finish. Um, it just gives you that airbrush, non-cakey look and it just literally stays put from the first application till the end of the day. It is very light. Um, it's crease resistant, talc free and creates a flawless natural finish on all skin types and tones And I do really feel like this is a powder for all skin types in my personal opinion um, And then I'm then gonna use my Morphe Bronto um, to add some definition to my face And then you're gonna see me doing some reverse contouring and I'm using my L'Oreal Mercier trans translucent powder um, This makeup, I mean this powder sets your makeup for at least 12 hours um as you can see i apply it literally all over my face and um, to set my brows to set my um smile lines in place like i can literally apply it everywhere and it does keep it in place it has a touch of sheer coverage and the, the powder does avoid set, settling into fine lines and pores and it gives that matte finish that we all need which is crease free a plus size is it is a no flashback formula and it creates a soft 
focus effect, making it perfect for photos. So I do not use a translucent powder to set under my eyes anymore because I feel like a pressed powder is much more effective in allowing my under eye to set much more beautifully with a subtle finish and stay that way all day. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. It's a weightless powder which minimizes the appearance of pores and imperfection and it does a great job at eliminating my unwanted shine for a more mattified finish that lasts all day. Um, this powder is not heavy so it sets nicely in the end underneath the eyes, it's not cakey and also doesn't dry up my skin because of how light and fine the powder is. So I'm using my Juvia's Place Nubian Eyeshadow Palette to create a brown copper look. I am running errands but after that I'm going to go out to eat with my friends and guys when I run errands I have this bad habit of not walking like a normal person like I power walk as if I'm going somewhere but I'm not like I'm not even in a hurry I just power walk and this is one of the reasons why I need to make sure my makeup stays in place because on a hot day with me power walking I do tend to sweat a little bit and this kind of makes the oil production in my skin come out faster so I have tried actually walking at an average pace but it just doesn't work out I just find myself power walking and huffing and puffing which is so strange so I used two amazing mattifying setting sprays the first one I used was the Beauty Bakery setting spray this has like a 360 ultra fine mist that helps your makeup stay in place as if it were just applied it gives a long gloss and hold for your look that slays all day then I went in with my MAC mattifying mist again this works to eliminate unwanted shine and oil this is so good at helping to extend the wear of your makeup and it promotes a like rebalanced and refined appearance with minimized pores something we all love and need so for those of you that know my favorite lip is like an ombre lip so i'm going to be using my beauty bay lip liner in the shade vintage to kind of line my lips maybe to overline because i really love big lips and then i'm going to go with my myx push-up lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade silk indulgent um i think it's like a peachy nude and i'm going to blend this all together and it will just give me my favorite one of my faves um ombre lip look this is the finished look and i'm not gonna lie i love it i love how matte my face looks but i know some of you guys are thinking like i feel like a lot of people feel like they need a full coverage foundation to get that full glam but i love the tinted moisturizer guys i'm not gonna lie to you it's so light on my skin my skin looks very smooth, it looks, it looks like my skin is soft, and then I just like it. Because like, in comparison to me wearing a light, a heavy foundation, and put makeup, makeup on top of the heavy foundation, and I now use a tinted moisturizer, and I put other products on top of the tinted moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, it feels different, like my skin does feel very light. It does feel like, um, very like weightless, the um, tinted moisturizer, it just feels nice. Um, don't get me wrong, the tinted moisture just leave a dewy glow, but I have really, really I've used a matte, I use a matte primer, I use two mattifying setting sprays because guys, I need my um, makeup to last, and I can show you, and especially in this heat, like in this humid, I don't know what's wrong with British weather, but when I'm in other countries and it's hot, and it's even hotter than the British weather. The heat from the UK is different from the heat that I experience in other countries. Like it's just, it's just, it's just hot, humid, oven heat, just blowing, 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 like just hot air in my face. And I really need a primer to make last long. Don't get me wrong. After a while, my skin will look a bit more dewy, a bit more radiant. But I love how matte my skin looks, and I love this tinted moisturizer, and it just looks so cute. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. And I love my eyes as well. Sort of like that copper glam. Please like, subscribe, and share. 
yes guys please subscribe by the way because i really would like to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year so please help me with that subscribing is free and you get to see my beautiful face all the time so yeah um please like subscribe and share and by the grace of god i will see you in my next video this video might not be uploaded on sunday it might be an early upload because i did miss one sunday so to make up i'm gonna be gracing your subscription sort of like feed so yeah thank you so much for watching um yeah and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.